LRH is the new series of Lovato electric HMI touchscreens to control and monitor all applications that require an economical, functional, and easy to configure solution. It is available in three formats with four, seven, and 10 inch displays and also available as a kit with micro PLC and RS-485 connection cable. Let's see how this works together. The HMI has three communication ports on the back for in-field connection to devices or for programming. Here is the serial port, configurable by software as RS-485, RS-232 or RS-422. The Ethernet port, used for programming or connection to devices and the USB port for programming or saving files. For example, to connect a micro PLC to the serial port of the HMI, we connect the two wires of the RS-485 cable to terminals A and B of the micro PLC. Then we connect the LRH interface with an Ethernet cable to a PC for programming through the LRH SW software. Downloadable from www.lovatoelectric.com download section, software and upgrades, micro PLC and HMI folder. In order for the LRH interface to be recognized by the PC, the respective IP addresses must be on the same network. By default, the IP address of the LRH is assigned by a DHCP server. If you do not have a DHCP server, you can manually configure the IP address. Let's see how to do it together. First, let's assign an IP address to the LRH. Press System Settings, Network, Network Interfaces. To change the IP address, click Change, disable the DHCP setting, and manually set the IP address and subnet mask. Press Save to save the settings. To exit the menu, click on Menu, Exit. Then, assign an IP address to the PC of the same family as that of the LRH. Enter the control panel. Local Area Network Connection. Properties, Internet Protocol, Version 4, TCP IP Version 4. And in the dedicated section set, for example, the following IP address and subnet mask. Done! We are now ready to work on the project with the LRH SW software. Let's find out together how it's organized. First, create a new project by clicking on File, New Project. Give the project a name and choose the destination folder. Click Next. Select the HMI code you have among the available models and the display orientation. Finally, click on Finish to start working. The workspace and toolbar are in the middle of the software interface. Here we can customize the page that will appear on the LRH. Below the workspace, you can also access the JavaScript editor. On the left is the project view, a window that shows the structure and resources available for the project. Pages, configuration of protocols and tags, trends, alarms, scheduler, user management, recipes, reports, and much more. On the right, in the Properties panel, you can see the properties of the selected page or elements. Lastly, next to it, there is the Widget Gallery, a gallery of graphic objects that can be used in the project, divided by category, texts, numerical fields, messages, buttons, measuring instruments, selectors, indicators, and many others. To insert a widget into the project, just drag it into the workspace and change its properties from the Properties window. To download the project in the HMI, click on Run and then Download to Target. From the drop-down menu, select the IP address of the previously assigned LRH and then click on Download. That's it! Now the project is available on the LRH. You can access the panel settings at any time. Press and hold on the touch screen for a few seconds and press Show System Settings in the drop-down menu. Enjoy using it! 